Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at accounts payable, also known as payables, as we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos. I'll give you the actual definition, and then we'll go on and look at some examples and give you the more insight. Accounts payable is an accounting entry which represents an entity's or a company's obligation to pay off a short-term debt to its creditors. Put simply, accounts payable is money owed to suppliers that have provided goods or services to the company on credit. This account payable entry is found on the balance sheet as a current liability. You will also find it on the cash flow statement. So let's go look at it. For this example, we'll be looking at Walmart Stores Incorporated, the cash flow statement, and the annual data for the cash flow statement. We're basically in this tutorial series just going over line by line what every single one of these items means and what it represents on the cash flow statement. What is telling the investor? We've already covered the net income, the depreciation, and, and several of these other lines. But now we're going to be looking at what should be titled here uh, accounts payable, but what you see here is actually changes in liabilities. But liabilities is many different things, and we're talking about, of course, the operating activities and that's a particular section of the business model so that's important but uh, still when we're looking at this section here you'll typically you're going to find depreciation of course is going to be found there uh, and then when we showed you earlier the accounts receivable that's one of the current assets and you're also going to deal with current liabilities so not all liabilities here not all uh, this has changes in liabilities but that is a very broad statement we don't know exactly which liabilities they're referring to and how many of them are actually tied into this little subcategory here on Yahoo Finance so again I want to point out that whenever you're looking at a Yahoo Finance uh, report or a Google Finance or some, something like that you're getting it the information from the middleman so you want to go again to the main company if you're going to be seriously investing and doing some fundamental research you want to be familiar with the actual company's uh, statements that they provide to the SEC and also you could look at the uh, annual report which we'll be doing today to figure out what exactly is in this liability section we know it has to be current liabilities um, because it's in this particular operating activity section but we want to know exactly what is being uh, placed in here to come up with this 2.7 billion dollar figure. Let's quickly go back to the company, Walmart Stores Incorporated, and uh, pull up their their data. Okay, here we are on the Walmart Stores uh, or the Walmart.com website. You can see the URL right there. Uh, we're simply going to go over here to the Investors tab. It's typically you're going to find this on most of the publicly traded companies, either the top of the page or the bottom of the page. There'll be an Investors tab or an Investors Relations tab, and you just click on that. And from there, you get the links that you're looking for. You can find their financial information. Uh, we can see that we have annual reports, financial reporting, stock information. I'm just going to go to the annual reports for this and then uh, select the 2012 annual report in PDF form. I already have that available for you, so let's pull that up real quick. Okay, here we are looking at the consolidated statement of cash flows, and you can see, let me get the tools right quick. Right here, you have accounts payables, and it's $2.6 billion. Now, we know from the previous uh, actual form that was 2.7 billion that we're looking for so what they've actually done on Yahoo is they simply take in the accounts payable and this little item here accrued liabilities uh, this figure here and they've added them together and I've already checked and if you're ever wondering what one of these line items uh, is uh, on the actual uh, cash flow statement or the income statement or the balance sheet or whatever you can always look at the notes for the particular company I've already looked for the, the notes on the accrued liabilities and this is just income that uh, employees have earned and haven't yet been paid uh, for example, if they get paid every two weeks and they've already done a, a week's worth of work, then they've already earned that money, just not been paid out to it, so it would be a crude liability in that case. Uh, things like that is what's falling into there. So that's important that you know uh, where to get this information. Go to the company, go directly to the horse's mouth, get the information that they're providing to the SEC. If you need further uh, explanation of what an item is, just go on down to the uh, down the page and you will get the actual line by line that we're talking about what each one of these items are uh, and, and how it is affecting the company so it's important that you know how to find this information for yourself okay now that we are back on the Walmart uh, stores incorporated cash flow statement provided on Yahoo Finance and we're talking about this one here changing liabilities which we now know from looking at the actual information is accounts payable as well as accrued liabilities uh, you know that um, those items, of course, are going to be added back to the net income figure. Remember, that's what we started with right here. And we're going to add that back because the uh, liability section is money that we owe, but we haven't yet paid. And this means that money hasn't actually gone out uh, of our um, pockets yet. And therefore, we're going to continue to uh, show exactly how much cash the company has generated and not how much it owes uh, down the road or something like that. So we're going to add this figure back, this $2.7 is added back. 
And that's an important little piece of the puzzle for you to know whenever you see change in liabilities and it's a positive number, then of course that means that liabilities has increased. And in, in, or the other way, if you were to see liabilities decrease, then you'd see a negative figure here because liabilities will decrease when the company spends the cash to pay those liabilities off. Okay, and now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.